you guys welcome back to my channel it's Brianna Lene and we are in desperate need of some reviving to this hair this is an old wash and go right now it's looking like a wash and no okay so let's get started by washing this hair after cleansing my hair I'm preparing for the deep conditioner which will be the quench deep conditioner from Camille Rose lavender collection y'all I was genuinely surprised by how thick this thing was it felt so good on my hair and I just worked it all in and you guys if you've never tried this deep conditioner I can be a bit dramatic but I'm not being dramatic when I say this is instantly one of my favorite deep conditioners I need to stock up quick this deep conditioner helped to instantly detangle my hair as you can see it's dry and after applying my hair is coming back to life I love how this just melts right in my hair. Oh my goodness, this deep conditioner is the bomb. So I work this in and I'll leave it in for about 30 minutes to an hour and uh, rinse it out. Then it's time for styling. Before styling, I like to section off my hair when I know the parts that I want. And I'm gonna have like a top up back out, you feel me? So I just went ahead and sectioned that off. and. This is my part. Try to get it as clean as possible. And then I'm gonna be doing some perm rods. I'll be using the new Camille Roses Spike Bakery Styling Foam. This foam is super lightweight and when I used it, I was super pleased with it because I don't know about you all, but I have used some um, styling foams that can leave like a sticky residue and this did not feel like that at all. It felt so good when I put it in my hair. This styling foam is good for using, um, well, obviously perm rods, but you can do like wash and goes, braid outs, twist outs. I personally have not tried to do any of those styles with it because this is my first time using it. And so I'm just going to be simple right now and just use it for this perm rod set. Now, if you all struggle like me trying to do a perm rod set, my best advice to you is practice and go slow what I like to do is make sure that I apply enough of the styling mousse comb it in and then I'm going to make sure that the end goes on nice and neatly and I'm gonna roll my hair as tight as possible so I can get that defined curl that I am looking for so I'm going to be doing perm rods all throughout my hair and you guys this isn't um, a race take your time do the best you can do and I'm actually gonna be using these perm rods this time because I want a bigger curl I usually use the orange perm rod um, yeah the orange perm rods throughout my hair but I decided to branch out and try this new size um, so I'm hoping that it comes out really good well I know that it did once we get to the end of the video, you guys will see that it came out good too. So stay tuned. Also, I'm trying my best not to speed up this video because I'm hoping that it can help someone by watching me do it in real time. So maybe if you're trying this style, you can just follow what I'm doing and it can help you to get your desired looks. But I just want to encourage somebody because I know what it's like to do a perm rod set and for it to come out terrible. Okay, so just keep pushing, keep practicing, and do not give up. This natural hair journey can be rough and tough and all of that, but you guys, once you master it, you're going to look back and realize, I cannot believe I thought I couldn't do whatever hairstyle that you're struggling with. You guys got it. So just watch this video, practice your own technique, and you will definitely be happy that you never gave up. Okay, so I finished the entire back part of my hair and moving to the front, I'm going to be using Camille Rose Curl Maker mixed with Curl Love Moisture Milk. I'm using this combination because I want to moisturize my hair because it's going to kind of be in a little ponytail if you will and I need to make sure that my hair is moisturized and laid. Then I'm going to repeat the same process that I did in the back of my head in the front. Now these are the orange perm rods that I was referring to earlier in the video. I decided to just use them on the top part of my 
hair no particular reason I just look down and grab them so again not speeding up this video because I'm hoping that it can help someone and um, I just make sure that while I'm doing installing these perm wraps that I work in sections so now I'm all complete and I do sit under the dryer it is so important to sit under the dryer so you can get these crisp results you guys my hair felt so soft there was no crunch but so much hold and I know y'all see that shine so I'm just going to take out my perm rods and once I take them all out I am going to just go ahead and separate them you guys this honestly is one of the best styling mousses that I've ever tried like vbomb.com no flaking no crunch with great hold shine and most importantly moisture and also let me just throw in there I do have some body with it okay so stiff wear okay <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and separate it and this is my end result Alexa please play I'm feeling myself by Beyonce <laughs> so you guys these are my end results I really like my hair and honestly at this point can't nobody tell me nothing so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to comment below subscribe and like this video let me know what you think of this hairstyle and I'll put all of the products that I use in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.